I'll tell you guys, I might be embarking upon my latest, craziest journey yet. See the school buses behind me, and the school facilities behind me. I'm trying to be sneaky and hide the name of the town. Not that it really matters. You guys can figure me out if you want to. Um, but latest and greatest journey, I think I'm going to be a school bus driver. <laughs> Do I want to be? No, not really. I don't think anybody wants to be a school bus driver. But there are some perks and there are some reasons why I'm doing it. And I'm going to explain that all to you right now. So why be a bus driver? Well, the first is obvious, gotta have a job. And it's crazy to me, and seems probably crazy to a lot of people. But I'm a petroleum engineer. I used to have a really good paying job, really good benefits, but you know what? The corporate world took that job away from me and there's nothing I can do about it. So now I gotta find something. And the bus driver, as non-glamorous as it may seem, is basically a part-time job with full-time benefits. If you are considered a full-time route driver, you're looking at about 20 hours a week is what they say on average to run your route, but you're considered full-time, so you get medical benefits. I need medical benefits. I have a family. We're paying for medical benefits right now. They're very, very expensive. Is the pay to be a bus driver great here? No. It's actually a problem with the district. They're losing drivers because other districts are paying more. But I'm not doing this as my primary job or to get rich. I'm really doing it mostly for the medical benefits actually um, but because also i know that i'm qualified and i know that i can and i know that it'll help the district out the district that my kids go to in the town that we you know live in and support so uh the biggest thing is got to have a job but um well, the biggest thing is the the medical benefits here so anyway um there's a little more to it as far as long-term plan but I've got to go in here and drop off some paperwork and then we'll continue this discussion later. So we're just back out here to the diesel pumps at my local fuel depot here, Whiteners. And like I said, unfortunately, it's um, taxed road diesel, but that's because I tried to call the place that I used to go to up in Corrigan to ask what the price was for tax-free diesel and they won't tell me over the phone. I'm not gonna drive 45 miles to hope that you guys are cheaper because last time you weren't. So that's a shame. But anyway, uh, more on this on the school bus thing, you know. So I mentioned one of the one of the big advantages of being the school bus driver. The pay isn't great, but it's the it's the scheduling. So yeah, you got to get up early in the morning. You got to go run the route for a couple hours, and you got to deal with screaming, annoying kids, whatever. But um, it's just for a couple hours in the morning, a couple hours in the afternoon. You know, if you want to pick up more jobs where you want to run for a field trip or you want to go you know take them to football games or band stuff that's all additional stuff that you can pick up but it's not really it's not really a requirement or an expectation that you have to do that stuff right away so you know you can kind of tiptoe into it you can actually tiptoe into it just to be a sub now my particular district is really you know to say desperate sounds bad but they're desperate for drivers it seems like they've got people quitting or just you know unreliable more than they can get good people and I I asked him what the problem was you know is it just not qualified people or not willing people and she said you know it's a little bit of both but she said a lot of people just nah don't want to do it and because again the pay is not great I'm looking at 16 bucks an hour which is that's the lowest pay I've made since I was in college you know um, but the real point is that it's four to five hours a day not eight hours a day, but I still get full-time treatment, full-time benefits, and I have the middle of the day and I have the evenings off. So the middle of the day, I can still continue with my little, you know, farming ventures, whatever I want to try to do. Uh, you know, for example, if I want to get up in the morning and go run the bus route, and then heck, I'm home by, you know, eight o'clock before 8 a.m. And so I can jump right across the road, I can jump in the excavator, go work eight to say, I don't know, 
2, 2.30, something like that. Run back up to town, jump back in the bus, and I'm ready to start loading kids at 3.30, you know? So it really gives you a good chunk of the day, still in the middle of the day, that you can work if you are independently employed or if you want to get another part-time job or something like that. And it's a good, steady part-time job. You know, a lot of people have these part-time jobs where they're working restaurant or whatever it may be and the hours bounce around all the time oh well this morning i gotta open and tomorrow i gotta close and the next day i gotta be there halfway through the day this is just this you can plan around this you know every day this barrel's about full there it goes give me just a second let me switch barrels um so you you can really get a pretty good idea and you can commit to people and tell them you know hey i'm gonna be there you know i get off the route every day at this time and i gotta be back on the route at this time so Again, you know, it's, it's not glamorous. A lot of people would probably kind of scoff when you tell them that you're a school bus driver, but it's really not a bad gig when, when all things considered. Um, you know, the, and so the other thing that it, it kind of pushes you into is getting your CDL. So I used to have my Class B CDL um, when I was in college. I drove a dump truck for a little while, and then I wasn't using it, and so I, I, got, I let it go. Um, and so that kind of sucks because now I have to get it back. But once you get your CDL, now for a school bus, you just have to be class B. Um, but what I'm working on right now is I've basically to get a class A versus a class B, you take one more test. You just have to take combination truck and trailer. That's it. And then you can get your class A. And of course you got to test in that vehicle. But what I'm doing right now is I'm going to get my class B. I'm going to get established with the school bus thing, um, to where I'm more comfortable being a commercial driver again. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do my combination test and I'm gonna find somebody with a, with a tractor trailer and I'm gonna go back and get my class A because once you have your class A, now I can start to pick up contract jobs. I already had one guy give me an offer, and again, not great, but he said, drive a log truck, I'll give you a dollar a mile. Oh, I got guys making 1,500 bucks a week. Man, that's, <laughs> I mean, not from what I'm used to. For, for most people, that's probably pretty good. But again, what I was used to was, was much higher than that, but I have to remind myself that I don't have that anymore. I don't have that oil field pay, so I can't compare every job that I look at to the old oil field pay because it's just, it's not there. I have to go back to my baseline and say, what's my mortgage? What's my health insurance? What's my groceries? What is the absolute minimum that it takes to support my family? Okay, can that job do it? You know what? I'm not too proud. I'll take that job. I actually put off the bus driver thing for a while because I didn't want to commit to it and get the school, you know, the, the, the school system kind of counting on me and then pick up and go because I got another job. But the way the oil field is looking for me right now, it's not looking good. I've been applying for jobs. There's just not a lot out there. The oil field's kind of stale. It's kind of there, but it's not booming, you know? So anyway, I'm committed to it now. I'm actually a little bit excited about it. We need some sort of steady income. Um, you know, it's not a bad gig. So again, if you guys are qualified, if you're capable of getting a CDL and being a school bus driver. Obviously there are some rules, you know, as far as drugs and alcohol and everything else, which just comes along with a CDL, but you also have to have a clean record. You can't be touching little kids. Um, and you have to have the professionalism to manage in today's world with a bunch of Sioux happy people and a bunch of snot nosed punk kids. So that's probably the hardest part of anything. And that's probably why a lot of people avoid it is because they just say, I can't deal with today's kids. I can't deal with today's just people. But if you think you can, you might look around and see it might be an option um, so far it's cost me I don't know all in between the permit application and actually getting the license fingerprints all that sort of stuff it's probably gonna cost me I don't know 150 bucks I honestly I didn't look it was $25 for the permit application it's I think it's like $40 to get my fingerprints there's an $11 fee to actually go take the test so it's really not bad it's a very small investment uh, in what could be a very lucrative option in the future. Bus driving, probably not lucrative. Um, but having your commercial driver's license could be very good because now you can go to drive for anyone on anything that you're qualified to drive in at least. Uh, with, a, with a bus driving thing, of course, you can you know sign up through one school like I'm doing and then other school districts in the area do pay more. It's still not great, but they pay more so you can jump to different districts if you wanted to. It makes you, again, in the end, you're just more employable in general. So 
again that's what i'm working towards i'll let you all know for sure i don't think it's probably safe that i get you many videos actually in the bus or on the bus but i just figured i'd talk about it for a while because i had the time but with any luck i'll be driving a bus here shortly i've got to still get my license i'm in my permit phase right now uh 14 days minimum for the permit for training and then i can go back and take the actual road test and i'd imagine the i know the school district says they're desperate i'd imagine they're going to start me like as a sub they want me to drive just a couple days a week or whatever and then try to get me a route but i also know that they have routes available right now so maybe they'll just give me a route anyway that's it y'all think about it i'll let you know how it's going